All right, as promised, we have our profilings here, and we're going to run this and see if we get any significant uh, samples. All right, here we go. I'm flying the ship around. Flying the ship around really shouldn't modify too much as far as profiling goes, because we are not profiling the update of velocity and that kind of thing. We're just updating, hey, make our matrices, transform the BERTs that we're sending down to OpenGL, and let's see the result. I'm going to open up the profile file so that we can uh, see if the profiler was able to pick up on anything here. Bring this into view, and you can see that the uh, profiles are pretty much useless. In fact, sometimes it measured zero here. And that is because even using the high-performance counter, um, the high-performance counter, at least on my machine, is not granular enough. All these measurements here are roughly the same, which is 4.11 times 10 to the negative 7, which is a significantly small amount of time if we actually uh, put one of these values out here. Let me just say 411, but then, oops. But then we need to move the, the decimal points right here. We need to move it over to the left seven. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So whatever that is, let me even insert commas into our value here so you can get an idea that it's it's really not, not that much time. Okay, the the I'm actually a little slightly disappointed that the high performance counter functions are not giving us any more granularity. Uh, so we cannot successfully measure how long this is taking because it's really not taking that long. All right, let me um, just review here with the engine uh, timing. Let's go to clock.cpp. And that was this this timer frequency. Let me put a breakpoint right here, just F5, and hit that breakpoint. If we lo look at the timer frequency, um, in fact, let me debug Windows, watch one, and we're done with these, get rid of those, pin this, time frequency, bring this down, you remember there's the high part and the low part, and the low part is 25222, two, two, alright, but I'm running on a 2.5 gigahertz CPU, alright, well, 2, Five two two. This is not gigahertz. All right. For every every uh, cycle of my laptop, I can get several more cycles than what we're measuring here. So yes, this is more granular than milliseconds. Milliseconds is only a thousand, whereas this uh, this is much higher than a thousand. It's let's see, one two three, oh, roughly twenty five thousand more times more granular. But uh, the the problem is it's not as granular as I wish it really was because my clock is moving that fast. But we are handicapped or hindered by the fact that query performance frequency. This is the this is the most granular value will give us. So yes, better than nothing, but not as granular as I wish we could go. Anyway, uh, probably not a big deal though. When we get to something that takes a significant amount of time and we want to profile that and look at that then we can certainly get some value out of our clock measurements here. And that will be particles. We'll do some particle effects. And when you do particles, you're processing all these particles. And it really adds up very quickly. And then when we get to the computer graphics section, we start doing some 3D stuff, which will be very interesting and very fun. Obviously, that will uh, take up some processing power. Physics as well, and even some artificial intelligence. So, But those are, those are, those are going to be several videos down the pipeline we are a long way from that. You can see how many videos it takes just to, for me to explain some of the intricacies of making a profiler, for example. Now the whole reason I wanted to make the profiler in the first place was an attempt to measure uh, making a different type of matrix class. Right? right now we're doing some unnecessary multiplications and additions with this matrix 3D, which I believe I explained in the previous video. If not, I'm going to explain it again in the next video. But in the next video, we're going to examine how can we shave some time, some unnecessary steps, uh, by using a different form of the matrix 3D. And and we'll go from there. And we'll profile it as well. But the uh, this is already too fast as it is for the profiler to really pick up any measurements. And so making it faster, well, we're not going to be able to 
measure that with our current profiler. But at least we have the profiler now. And uh, we need to build some other debugging tools and that sort of thing. And then we'll do some particles.